So hey y'all and welcome. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage. So today I'm just finishing those last minute things, still working on garland, and I wanted to show you um, sort of how I work with my garland and keep all the pieces that I need to work into my garland, uh, into doing the layers. And I'm very thankful for this new ladder this year because it allows for me for added space to um, place my layering pieces. I'm able to put my mesh up here on what is created to hold a can of paint and it has the slots for my scissors but that would be like for screwdrivers or anything that you would need uh, painting and my pieces that I layer with. Um, so I am really loving this but lab. I wanted to say good morning to you all and hope your morning has started out wonderful and I hope your day goes smooth and ends up amazing. I slept well last night. Now I'm going to get back to my garland. I'll just check in um, here and there with you and let you know what I'm doing as we go along on this day of Vlogmas. Once the home tour um, is revealed, which is going to be sometime Friday. I've not set a time yet exactly when it's going to go up. It could be later in the afternoon, maybe even early evening, but it will be up Friday. And until we do the uh, home tour, I'm just always going to have you looking at the floor or looking at a little piece of decor tucked away in a corner. And then somewhere. after that, I will have more freedom with the camera and where it's um, pointing. So thank you for being patient. I cleaned the bathroom first and then uh, put up the decor, which is very minimal. And then I mop the floors and they're ready for the rug mat, for the uh, bath mat to go back on the floor and the toilet paper holder roll and the garbage can. So this bathroom's ready to be put back together and then I can really call it done. Today so. the tree skirt finally goes under the tree. And that's where I have to put the bathroom back together. Um, and then I'm gonna clean my bathroom and Ken's bathroom. So you're gonna hear my dishwasher cause I gotta have it. Uh, I need those clean so I can put them away. I don't know why anyone thinks that we would have to continue to keep the housework up while we're in the middle of decorating for Christmas. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that? There's my little basket of uh, tea light candles. And here are some of the pieces that I'm going to be working with this um, candle piece here. This goes outside in my two um, small Christmas trees that are uh, on each side of the door. So I've got to do that work outside today. I still need to hang these lights, these lights, and I have another box of lights like this that go in our bedroom. I wanted to run and grab some fresh flowers to put in here. Uh, I got some command hooks yesterday that I wanted to use in a decorating piece to hold some of the garland and they just wouldn't stick to what I wanted them to stick to because of all the pledge and the wax in the pledge that's on that piece of furniture. That's why my husband does not like me really using uh, furniture uh, like pledge that has wax in it like on surfaces like this but I do anyway because if they ever have to be redone he says it makes it hard um, with that wax on there but he knows I wax it and when I had shown you this ladder how it has that little place to put your um, can of paint on that I'm using it to hold my decor pieces it made me think if I could fulfill a dream, a dream that I have, and if it were able to come true, oh, how my heart would smile. I dream of um, being on the decorating team that decorates the White House for Christmas. And here's how I'm using that little paint tray. I just put my pieces up here, and that way I don't have to keep going up and down the ladder. I have it up here. So I had that one done, and then I'm going to... Uh, do the other one that's seen also here in the living room, just like this. 
I'm going to try to get it as close to this look as I can, but I know I'm not going to get the exact look. So this one's done. I'm going to move on to uh, the one that goes from the living room into the kitchen, the breakfast area. So this one's done. Only add a couple of uh, sprigs of the berries up in this one. Just one on each and side. I will do just a wee bit more fluffing after I put the lights in. Because of course you know when you start working the lights through that stuff, um, you're going to smash, squish, squash <laughs> some stuff down. So my dishwasher has ran. They're drying because I can feel the heat coming from it. I have my iced coffee cup ready to fill it with the yumminess and I have those clothes that I've washed and dried and now I need to gather the hangers for these the majority and bam that's B-A-M bam it's just that quick to get that iced coffee as you can see always have clothes to fold I washed those last night dried them last night needed the dryer had to take these out and I couldn't uh, fold them at the time. And Ken's like, well, I'll fold them. I'm like, no, 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 no. Just leave them there and I'll get it. So I'm gathering the hangers to hang the clothes up. To put up in both of them. So I have, have, let's see, two more pieces to make. And then I think I'm going to be ready to start uh, doing some housework. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go outside first, out front, and um, fluff those rays. It's sunny, but very windy, I think. And, of course, a lot of garland needs lights, and the tree skirt down. All, just all the little things now, which can add up. Cleaning tools here. Had to vacuum off my ladder. Don't want any glitter on my ladder now. Can't have that. So again, I really want to encourage you all not to be afraid to create your own Christmas decor, your own garland, your own whatever it is that you are wanting um, to have in your decor. Don't be afraid of it. It's just uh, garland, mesh, some picks, what I call fillers. The possibilities are endless. It, just use your imagination. Be creative. Um, there is no wrong way. And whatever way you choose to go with is your own personal style, not something you had to uh, buy from off the shelf or order online. It's something you created. This is so very easy. Um, so yeah, and if you do create something and you want to share it, I would love it if you would um, follow me on Instagram and share your picture with me of what you created. It is my Instagram account, username is Lisa's Cottage, just like um, here at the YouTube channel, Lisa's Cottage. Um, I would love to see what pieces that you're working on or that you're creating. And here's another one that I put together just today. You know, the mesh in it. I already had the greenery and the ornaments and stuff up on it. And I'm pretty happy with that, the way that come out. I took hardly very little to no thought i just got up there and started twisting and you use the greenery for ties just take two pieces and twist it together and i just got there and started twisting and wrapping twisting and wrapping twisting and wrapping i'm going to move on now to the breakfast or the kitchen um table putting those pieces together i still have and you all don't need to be zoomed in that close do you Check out how nasty those fingerless gloves are working with them um, on. Um, I still have that roll and I still have this roll. And the reason I went ahead and opened the other roll because I didn't want to use one roll that I had already started working with and then it come up too short. So I just went ahead and opened the, uh, a new roll knowing that I would definitely have enough to do what I was doing. So I still have those two rolls and I'm sure I'll find a place for them to go. This is our ornament for this year, for 2017. Our tradition is to get an ornament every year. Sometimes we're able to get them with the date on it, like this one, 2017. We ordered that through Amazon. 
and sometimes we just have to write the dates on the back of them. I am on Santa's nice list. Ken has one and I have one. Maybe he doesn't know which one's mine, so he don't know which one to change. So if he changed it, he would probably be changing his own because if whatever one got changed to the naughty list, I would say it's his. Just kidding. That little cottage. Little elves working in Santa's cottage, I guess. Got this in Gatlinburg. And it has the hole in it where you just put the one the the light bulbs in. So what I was saying before the phone rang. How dare they call me? Well, I'm getting close to um well I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up so I can continue. I love um working with this kind of stuff and all the lights just twinkling in the house. So this is where I'm going to say, you better watch out. You better not pound. You better not cry. I'm telling you. So y'all, I am calling this a wrap. And this is where I'm going to say, you all take good care and bye-bye.